The moment the Honor 5X came out, I was a huge fan. The hardware was great in terms of value for money, and the specs were actually quite not too bad. The build quality is nice, it's metal, and you can actually see where I've dropped it a couple of times, with some scuff marks there, and a large chunk missing out of the top corner. But the phone itself was decent apart from one thing. The software kinda sucked. However, there is an update to Emotion UI 4.0 coming up, which means you get Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. But what's it like? Does it make the phone any better? The new version of Huawei Home is surprisingly decent, with animations being extremely smooth, and all apps aren't forced to be the same shape, which for me is a huge step forward. As you'd expect, Pinching it lets you see the settings, things like animations, and what else is there here? Widgets, wallpapers, and more settings, with things like the layout size, auto-align, and shake to realign. However, if you reverse pinch, you actually access your hidden apps, which currently is nothing. Meanwhile, one of my favorite new settings is the fact that you can go to display and it has view mode with small, medium, and large, which changes the DPI of the screen, meaning that no matter what, you can get as many icons on your homepage as you want. As you can see, if we look at the Nexus launcher, you get that whole 5x5 grid or 4x5 because that top row is taken up. It's still not perfect though, it actually uses up quite a lot of memory. All apps are currently closed. But there is only 740 megabytes of memory remaining, which though definitely not bad, it's definitely not good. The fact that the operating system alone uses over a gigabyte of memory means that the gaming experience is somewhat compromised, with even relatively light games such as this one occasionally lagging and just sort of having spikes of no response. Apps will take forever to load though, especially Google Chrome, and you can just see how occasionally it just it just sort of pauses to think. This is currently supposed to be switching between apps and it is just taking forever. And it's now thinking about, there we are. It just took, it just every now and again, it hangs up, takes a while, but it does eventually get there with things like even the home button just not responding straight away sometimes. The biggest culprit here is all of the excess apps that you don't actually need. The biggest one that really annoys me is Mirror. You see, the Mirror is just the front-facing camera, except for the fact that it's got, like, a little border around it. Like, how horrible is this? And if you blow on it, ready? You get a nice little icy effect, which is so useful. Once you have this icy effect, you can draw on it to reveal parts of your screen, but let's be honest, who really wants to be doing that? Overall, the Honor 5X is a pretty decent phone, but I think it's just bogged down by software. The new version of Emotion UI is definitely a step forward, and if you don't have it as an OTA and want to go install it yourself, the instructions are very simple. The download link is in the description below, and all you have to do is put it in a folder called Deload. Once you've done that, you can go into Settings, hit Update, and you can actually install it manually, and again, the link for that's below. It's a really simple update, and and though this version isn't perfect, and this is actually the final release version, it just hasn't been propagated yet, it is more or less done, it is definitely a huge step forward from the previous piece of software. Oh yeah, also the app switcher is a lot more reasonable than it was before, I just didn't like that grid look. Anyway guys, if you like the video make sure to hit like, if not, I'm not sure why you're still here, maybe it's because you want to see one of the other videos and give us a go again, so click in the top left to see the previous video, and if that doesn't look like your cup of tea, either fear not you can actually click on the top right to see a random video that could be absolutely anything from a snappy tech library so be sure to check that out make sure to hit subscribe to see more videos like this one and i'll see you guys next time